Welcome to the Jerry Graves channel, the only channel that you get to learn about uh, motivation, mastering your flow, dealing with narcissists, and beyond. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the topic. A lot of people who have dealt with narcissistic abuse have social anxiety, and the connection that, that causes social anxiety is... Um, the fact that you have to put up a show in front of other people from the time that you're, you know, two, three years old, your parents make you understand that appearance is, is very, very important. You know, they go through great lengths to show that they're normal and that they're not abusing anyone. So this whole idea of putting on a show gets really sunken into your mind because if you're they say as you're 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 still growing up until like the age of six like most of your your brain is is developing your most impressionable uh the development of who you are is is happening at that age so it has a huge effect on you you know which uh doesn't just go away as you get older it, it's still it's still there this this idea of uh just being overly aware of what people are thinking about you um and how you look to other people and everybody's impression of you it's just it's sunken into your mind very deeply and it's going to take a while to to get rid of that um i don't know if you ever truly will um become who you would have been if that wasn't an element in your life, but I mean, you can get used to it and, and become a better version of you. But, uh, for right now, just understand that that's going to be a part of who you are, you know, and it might not be just all out social anxiety, but just being a little bit with a little bit shy or a little bit withdrawn, a little bit, uh, trying to really be you know you know how it is like whenever I meet uh like kids that are really well behaved and and they hold back and things like that it's always a thought in my head that maybe they're abused or maybe something has gone on in their life now I don't automatically assume that that's true and I know that most of the time that's probably not true but it's it's still a thought in my mind um, I remember uh, my sister, my younger sister growing up. Now, me and my, my sister were, like, really extremely well-behaved, especially at home. Um, and we were, like, the the kind kids and and always, you know, really shy and things like that. And then uh, what shocked me is that my younger sister, who's like, she's like 10 years younger than me, or I think she, no, she's like 16 years younger than me, right? So she's still coming up, and I notice that in her, you know, I notice that she's really, like, uh, really quiet and well-behaved, and it's almost eerie. It's, it's almost weird to see it, you know, it, it seemed normal coming up, but now looking at her knowing what I know it's it's actually like it's a weird uh way of of being you know as a kid she's not like other kids in that in that sense and uh um I'm pretty sure she's gonna have some form of of social anxiety as she gets older so um yeah that's that's the the connection obviously there's more to it than that that's only part of the reason why you might have social anxiety and shyness and things like that as you uh get older um but uh i mean there's many different uh reasons why i just wanted to cover one of them that's uh off 